Hey guys, so I think I'm going to do another vlog today and I am making some avocado toast and I just wanted to kind of, um, I guess, share what I'm doing. So as you can see, as you can see, uh, that's my pan and over here I've already toasted my bread with some avocado and I'm about to crack two eggs so that I can, um, fuck. So that was a fail and I decided just to, um, just go ahead and eat my food. I was going to show you guys, um, a day of what I eat but it didn't work out so now I think I'm just going to just vlog whatever my day looks like today and start my weekend vlog um, but yeah so I cleaned up the mess and I already had breakfast and maybe I'll come back on another day with um, what I eat in a day um, but yeah, so tune in to what I do uh, for the rest of my day and the weekend. So I'll see you in the next clip. Bye. Hey guys, so I am at a, uh, another shopping complex. I just wanted to come um, exchange something that I bought at Bath & Body Works. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to share what I'm doing and you'll see what I'm up to. Okay, talk to you soon. Okay guys, so they didn't have what I was looking for and so now I'm in Target trying to find a couple of items. Hangers is one of the items that I'm looking for and I just found it. Um, let me see. So I think, yeah, I think I'll grab this color. Yeah. Hey guys, so it's Saturday morning and I have um, a ton of things that I need to get done. Um, I need to kind of tidy up around my place and I also need to um, run to the laundromat to get my laundry done and then I need to head off and um, grab my... Uh, prescription hey from... guys so I think the video cut off on the last um, on the last clip that I was doing but I just wanted to come back and um, update you guys and just let you know that 
my laundry was done. Um, I had to fix some stuff on my computer and my phone to kind of be able to get this video. Um, so now I just want to uh, do my laundry, like put it away. So this is my laundry done. Um, now I'm going to put that away and kind of tidy up the place and head out because I have another errand to run and it's really late it's already like 4 30 in the evening um so yeah or 4 30 in the afternoon whatever you think 4 30 is um but yeah so now I am going to get ready after hey guys so I just came back from doing some grocery shopping for the week and I wanted to share a practice that I a personal spiritual practice of mine that I do um, when I when I'm just feeling like I need to connect with um, divine guidance when I need to connect with God um, when I need to connect with um, my spirit guides and when I can when I need to connect with my higher self so I um tend to get drained emotionally and physically really easily and something that I found that just really helps me to feel grounded and connected back to myself and connected back to God is, um, is prayer, meditation, and stillness. And um, one way that I like to just get still and connect with myself and connect with God is through um, practicing mudras. I don't know if you can see this. So this is a really powerful book. I recommend it to anyone who is um, just really, really looking to take their spiritual, <laughs> really looking to take their spiritual practice even further um, in life, further in yourself. Um, just being able to have a more a more I don't know what to say like a more powerful or a more centered spiritual practice um, yeah so I've been working with um, mudras for a while now not too long I think um, I've had this book for like I want to say maybe <laughs> two or three years, but I wasn't able to get into it fully because I just had a really hectic life. I have moved a lot um, over the past two years, two or three years, um, but this book has always been with me and um, I've, I've, I haven't been able to truly um go through the entirety of the book but i'm i'm i've begun or i'm starting to um kind of go through its pages and go through information and just kind of connect with some of the um mudras and gestures that that i need um, when I'm feeling a certain way. Um, so when I'm feeling scared or when I'm feeling worried or when I'm feeling anxious or afraid um, or when I just need grounding and when I need connection to God in more than just prayer, even though prayer is extremely powerful for me. Um, yeah. So in more than just prayer and more than just, you know, reading the Bible, even though those are really powerful, um, this is another tool that I like to use to um, connect with 
God and connect with myself and connect with my spirit guides. Um, and even beyond meditation, right? So this is another way where you can feel into the Holy Spirit, feel into the divine spirit of God and the divine spirit of who you are. So today I wanted to share a practice with you because um, I am just coming from um, running errands and I was having a difficult time mentally um, and emotionally with um, just where I stand right now um, in my current state of state of life like the way my life looks right now and and um it just isn't i don't know how to explain it but um i know that i need to um connect and commune with god and one of the ways for me to do this is to do a mudra so I wanted to share the Hiridaya Mudra with you today, which is just a mudra for um, seeking divine refuge with God. And basically what you do um, is you place your left hand over your heart and then you place your right hand on top of your left hand. And you allow yourself to connect with your heart Taking a deep breath and exhale nice and gently and slowly. And feel that the presence of God is with you. Feel that all that you need is right here and right now. And allow yourself to just be. Feeling the presence and the energy of God. Allowing yourself to trust yourself. Allowing your heart to open up to whatever is there for you. And just sitting in silence. breathing through your chest. So another aspect that I forgot to mention is that once you place your hands over your heart, allow your chin to bow down slightly to the to your chest or slightly to the ground, and um, just allow yourself to be in divine rev in divine reverence for God. So I hope this practice meets you. Um, at a time and place where you need it most. And that is what I um, like to do when I'm going through something that just doesn't um, 
feel good, something that doesn't feel good, something that doesn't make me feel like I'm being my best um, in any given moment. So I just wanted to share this practice with you. I will be introducing other um, styles of mudras to benefit um, the body, the mind, the spirit, and the soul. Okay, it's such a pleasure to uh, connect with you. Um, thank you for watching this video and I will see you either in the next clip or this is going to be the end of my vlog. Okay, so have a good night or a good morning or a good afternoon wherever you're at, wherever you find this video. Take care. Bye. Hey guys, so I just wanted to read um, to you some of the, um, some of the physical responses your body um, will receive from having or from practicing this mudra. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to read uh, to you some of the results that you can um, anticipate in practicing this mudra when you sit and um, when you sit in stillness in stillness and um, practice this mudra and attune and tune into your spiritual self. So it says that um, this mudra balances prana and apana, um, the upward and downward moving current of energy. It opens and balances the fourth chakra, the center of unconditional love. It cultivates feelings of comfort and emotional balance. It instills, excuse me, I am so bad with my eyes. It instills a sense of trust and support. It states that as we seek refuge in the divine in difficult times, we gradually begin to see that the divine is present at each moment of our journey. And so basically that is exactly what I needed, um, or that's exactly what I need in each moment that I'm struggling with my thoughts or I'm struggling with a circumstance that I might be going through or an internal battle that I'm having with myself. Um, and I just wanted to share that with you so that you kind of have a glimpse or understanding of why, um, of what you're getting out of doing this practice and why you should even consider, um, putting it to use or putting it into your, um, personal, uh, spiritual toolbox to connect with, um, God and to connect with yourself um, even more deeper and more richly. So once again, I hope uh, this practice um, finds a way into your heart and that it helps you through anything that you might be struggling with um, within yourself, mentally, emotionally, or spiritually. Okay. Take care and have a great evening, have a great day, have a great afternoon, wherever you're at, wherever this video might meet you. Take care.